Georgia's schedule next year. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, it is crazy. And look, people are going to forget they had Oklahoma instead of Ball State and the SEC asked them to reschedule that game. But even even with that, Clay, it is going to be very difficult for them not to be in Atlanta and be contending for another playoff spot next year. I think the only team that can beat them on the schedule, I was looking at that uh, last night after the, you know, about, about halftime when I realized that game was over to start to turn towards the next year. I think the only team that could beat them is Tennessee. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I don't think that's hyperbole or anything else. I mean, <laughs> Georgia has to go to Tennessee. Um, I think Tennessee is going to be a top 10 team. Um, and uh, and obviously that'll be a massive game. The challenge is, uh, you know, Tennessee probably has a good chance to lose two games um, in, in the SEC. And so, uh, you know, I, I think that is the, uh, you know, Tennessee has to go to Alabama, have to go to Florida. We'll see how those teams look. Uh, Texas A&M uh, is also on that uh, on that schedule. So uh, so we'll see whether the Aggies can bounce back. Um, but uh, but to me, that is the, the one game, I guess, if you're a Georgia fan that you circle and say, OK, this one could be. I mean, I don't think uh, you guys disagree. I mean, I don't think there's any I, I guess you could say, say Florida because it's a traditional rivalry game. But I think Florida is going to be without Anthony Richardson quite a bit worse next year, uh, this upcoming year, in 23 than they were in 22. And they weren't very good in 22. So uh, I, I think if you're a Georgia fan, the only thing you look at on that schedule and say, oh, we could lose that one is, is Tennessee and Dillon. Yeah.